Hello there! Good day to everyone! This is Ma'am Weng and I welcome you once again in my classroom. Today I will be discussing about free morpheme and bound morpheme which is part of morphology. Morphology is the study of word structure but in this vlog I will be discussing about morphemes. Morphemes are the smallest units of meaning. There are two distinguishing characteristics of a morpheme. First, morphemes are not words. Second, morphemes are not the same as a syllable. For you to understand what morpheme is, let us discuss one by one the distinguishing characteristics of a morpheme. First, morphemes are not words. But words are composed of morphemes which are classified as free morpheme or a bound morpheme. Example, the word dog has one morpheme because it carries already a meaning, a concept. But the word dog has two morphemes. The word dog, which is a free morpheme, and the sound s or the letter s, which is the bound morpheme. Another example is the word justice, which has one morpheme. But the word injustice has two morphemes, the free morpheme justice and the bound morpheme in. Free morphemes are morphemes that can stand alone because it already con contains a meaning like dog, church, cry, wonder, justice, and all other lexicons that has already a meaning by itself. On the other hand, a bound morpheme is a morpheme that needs to be attached to a free morpheme to create a meaning. Like the sounds in the dogs, it does or the S is the bound morpheme. It has no meaning at all unless it is attached to a free morpheme. Like dogs, boys, in the, the D or the D sound, letter D, for dance because D cannot stand alone and it is a bound morpheme that needs to be attached to another free morpheme like the word dance to make it dance it is it signifies that the sound D signifies the past tense of the free morpheme dance another bound morpheme is full for wonderful Full is a bound morpheme because it cannot stand alone. It has no meaning at all unless it is attached to a bound morpheme like wonder. So it becomes wonderful. When you attach that full to wonder, the lexical category of wonder will change from noun or verb to adjective because wonderful is an adjective. Let us consider the following sentences for the word wonder. The sight of the vast horizon stretching out before me filled me with wonder. The word wonder in that sentence is a noun. The second sentence is, I wonder what the future holds for me and you. The word wonder in that sentence is a verb. The third sentence is, I am wonderful in the sight of God. The word wonderful with two morphemes, the wonder and the fool, is an example of adjective. So therefore, when you add the bound morpheme full to wonder, wonder becomes an adjective. Either the wonder is a noun or a verb, depending on the context. Second distinguishing characteristic of a morpheme is that morpheme is not the same with a syllable. Example, wonderful has three syllables but two morphemes. Wonder, free morpheme, full bound morphine. Another example, impolite. Impolite has three syllables but two morphemes. Im, bound morpheme, polite, free morpheme. Third example is the word danced. One syllable but two morphemes. Free morpheme dance, bound morpheme d, or, d, or the letter d in danced. That ends our lesson on free morpheme and bound for morpheme. For your assignment number two, I want you to analyze the following words. Identify the bound morpheme and the free morphemes. The words are dormitory, stretching, educational, and morphology. Email your assignment 
at ruwenanuera at yahoo.com Please subscribe and like this vid or this vlog if you have learned something from my lesson. See you next time. Bye!